Central Catholic hadn't played a football game in 22 days before taking the field Saturday against Clay. Each of their previous two games had been wiped out due to positive COVID tests, one week from their opponent, the next from the Irish. As you'd expect, there was a little bit of rust from Central Catholic, but they quickly found their groove en route to a 54-7 blowout win over Clay. Reason over with the touchdown. Uh, it was pretty exciting because, you know, we felt like we've been caged up for two weeks and finally get out here. It felt pretty good. I can just say it, feel, it feels good to get back out here. Every trying to get better, get back out here, it feels great to be playing football. Well, I was just happy they got to play. I mean, this is a challenging couple weeks these kids have gone through. You learn on a you learn on a Wednesday night at practice right after immediately you're not going to play. You find out in the middle of the school day you're not going to play the next week. That's going to have a toll on any uh, anybody, much less a high school kid. I was happy for him just to get a chance to play. Very uh, happy with how we improved as we progressed. Definitely have to uh, fix some things, there's no doubt about that, but I thought from about the mid-second quarter on, we had some good energy going and got some things going and, and we were able to get going at full speed from there. After a slow start to the game, it was Dylan Fisher's scoop and score touchdown and subsequent flip into the end zone that provided the spark the Irish needed. Uh, the flip came, I seen my whole team behind me. Once I seen them behind me, I'm like, let's just have, we gonna have fun with it. That, them tens don't come off, we're just gonna have fun with it. You don't see a big guy like that flip into the end zone every day and it definitely got the sideline riled up. Next up for Central Catholic, another week off. They got a first round bye in the playoffs. They'll host the winner of this Friday's Northview Springfield game next Friday, October 16th. Rest certainly won't be an issue for this team, but rust very well could be. From Clay High School, Alex Wilcox, BCSN.